What's up guys? In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create this custom Shopify section with only 15 lines of HTML. And then I'll give you the CSS so that you can copy and paste it into your own theme so that it looks just like this in your Shopify store too. I'll also walk you through how to create the liquid schema required to make this section available to use anywhere in your theme using the Shopify theme editor. So if that sounds interesting to you, you can follow along this video and I'll explain how to do it. Or if you're in a rush, you can just skip to the end and copy the code. It's in the description, uh, links to the CSS as well as the HTML in the schema. I'll annotate each section in this video if you just wanna skip through the parts that you're interested in. And throughout this video, I'll provide some resources and tips to learn more about Shopify sections so you can start building your dream theme. So let's get started. So to start building our new section, we're gonna open up our theme and create a new file in our sections folder. And we're gonna name it something like new free column dot liquid. To get started building our section, you have to start building out the schema. And if you're new to schema in Shopify, there's basically three required fields for it to start appearing in the Shopify theme editor. So to start, I'm gonna write schema. Within the schema tag, we're gonna have to build out an object. And in that object, we're gonna have name. And right now we'll just call this YouTube three column. And it's a string. Second, settings. And this will be an array, but we're just gonna keep it empty right now. And then presets. In presets, it'll be an array with an object. And the only thing we're gonna put in here right now is a preset name, which we'll call YouTube three column. All right, and if we save this and go to the Shopify theme editor, we should be able to see this now. But before we go over to the Shopify theme editor, we're actually gonna write something uh, that we can actually see when we create the block in the Shopify theme editor. So we're just gonna make an H1 and put example heading. Now we're gonna save this and go over to the editor and check it out. So now you've got Shopify open, we're in the theme editor and we're gonna to go to add section and we should see our new block or section that we just made. So YouTube three column, we open it up, we'll see it has that example heading. You'll notice that we can't change the heading and there's no settings and there's actually no blocks we can add. So we're gonna go over to VS Code and quickly add uh, some settings so we can change this heading as well as uh, build out some blocks. All right, so now we're gonna build an object in the settings array that we'll use to define the, the title or the section header. So this is gonna be of type text. Gonna have an ID, which is basically what we'll use to render this. And we're gonna call it section header. We're gonna give it a label, which is gonna be the label in the theme editor that uh, we'll see. And we're just gonna call this section header. And then we're also gonna set a default, which we'll just call featured collection. That way you don't have to type it out every time that you, you know, build a new block. All right, now that we've defined this object in the settings, we're actually gonna make it so you can see it dynamically. We're actually gonna rewrite this. We're gonna make it an H2. We're gonna give it a class to uh, called get started section header. And 
and that we're just going to use this for the CSS I'll give you at the end. So as we build out the HTML, I'll be adding these classes. And you don't have to use them if you don't want to, but it's going to help if you if you plan to use the CSS I provide. So within this H2, we're going to render the section settings. Uh, object we made, which is called section header. All right, now we save this and go back into Shopify. We'll be able to see uh, a dynamic value that we can, uh, we can change. With Shopify open again, we're gonna go down and add that section again. And now we see that that settings field we created is a dynamic input and any changes we make are reflected in the, the H2, which is pretty cool. So that's cool. We got the header down. Now we're gonna build out the blocks that will actually hold the, the content for each of the three cards. I'll save that and then get back in VS Code. Okay, below the settings object, we're gonna create another one called blocks. Blocks will be an array. <clears throat> and in that array, we're gonna create an object uh, with a type called content. And this type is really just an identifier that will be used for each block. Uh, we'll also give it a name and we'll call it content with a capital C. This is really just gonna be the initial label when the, uh, when the block is blank. Now I'm gonna add settings to this, which will be an array. And this is gonna hold uh, like the bulk of the fields that we'll, we'll ultimately use in uh, our section. So first item in our array, we're going to uh, add an image picker. So we're gonna give it a type of image picker. We're gonna give that an ID, which will just be image. And we're gonna give it a label that will also be called image uh, with a capital I. So that will be basically the first field in each block that we create, but we're gonna add another field. Uh, this is gonna be text. It's gonna be the primary text for each card. So we're going to give it a type, a type of text. The ID will just be called title. We're going to give it a label and it's going to be called title with a capital T. And we're also going to give it a default value. And it's just going to be enter your title. All right, that field is created. I'm going to create another one in here. And that basically be like uh, some subtext underneath the uh, main title. Uh, so we're going to give this one a type of text as well. Give it an ID. And it'll be subtitle. I'm going to give it a label called subtitle. And we'll give it a default called enter your subtitle. <clears throat> Below that, we'll create uh, another field, the other object in here. And this will be um, a URL because we're going to link each card to 
a collection or page that you want. So you give this a type of URL. We're going to give it an ID. Here we'll call it button link. Give it a label. Call button link. And then we'll give it a default value. And we're just going to put a slash in here. If it's anything else for the defaults, uh, you can run into some errors. So the slash is a try to true. Um, I'm also going to add another object in here. And it's going to be the button text. So we're going to give it a type. It's going to be text. It's going to have an ID. We're going to call it button text. Oh. I'm going to give this a label. Uh, button text works. Uh, we're also going to give it a default value just called just containing shop. We're also uh, we're going to add a limit. So this is going to be a limit for how many blocks we can add in this section. Uh, based on the CSS and whatnot, we're just going to put three. Um, that way, uh, nothing gets out of hand and, and looks bad. So we're going to save this and see how things look. Actually, I just realized we're getting this error in presets. So since we added some blocks, it's actually expecting another comma right here. Um, although the error is gone and we say if we save this and went into Shopify, Shopify, we wouldn't be able to access the blocks. Um, it's expecting some presets. We could just um, add another attribute here and call it uh, category of custom, which would allow us to add the blocks. But we're, we're going to do something a little bit better. So I'm just going to copy and paste this here. All right, so in presets, we got the name for the section, and then we've also defined some blocks so that when you first add the section, it will add these three, um, three blocks for you. So we're gonna save this, go in Shopify, and see how it's looking. All right, we're gonna refresh the page. All right, now you see there's this add content, which is what we named each of the blocks. You can name it block or, or whatever. Uh, so actually it should add all three. Okay, yeah. So uh, I guess it was just the old section didn't, uh, wasn't loading all three. So now there's these three, and you see in here there's the image picker there's the title with the default into your title. There's a label of subtitle, the default of subtitle. There's that default slash, the you know label button link. So we have all this stuff, but we can't see anything yet. Um, but we're all done with the schema. Now we just have to build out the HTML. And like I said, it's only 15 lines total. So well, I think we got two lines created, one. We're going to build this out. I'm just going to go quickly through this. That way we can just bust it out. All right. In cracking on all this, we're going to, I'm going to build out uh, a main container. So we're going to make a div with class 
get started container. Throw that div at the end. Cool. Below that, we are going to now create a row. So we're going to do div class. Get started. Row. Within this row, we're going to say, we're going to add a loop here. So for each block in section blocks, it's going to render this, this HTML for every single block we have defined in the section. So right, there's a limit of three. And it's going to load this three times. So make another div here. Class of get started block. We're going to say if block dot settings image. All right, so if there is an image defined on the block, we're going to add this image. Loading equals lazy. And source of, we're going to render block.settings.image. We're going to add a filter. I'm just going to say image URL. And this is just going to define a size. Uh, I'm going to do 600 pixels. And then we'll just add an alt. Alt value of block. Settings title. That looks okay. You make it a little better, but that's fine for this. Right, so that is okay. We have that image. We're going to now end that if statement. Then I'm going to make a, a div that will hold. The text, the text, and the button. So we're going to call this get started text. And we're going to put a p tag, the class get started title. And then that, uh, that tag, we're going to render block settings title. We're going to end that P. Let me show you there. Oh. There we go. That looks good. And just create a span of class. Get started subtitle. And in the subtitle element, we're going to render uh, block dot settings dot subtitle since that was the ID we gave it, and in that span. Now we're going to add um, an href element. The link we're going to give it uh, block.settings.url. Oh, what's going on here? Yeah, okay. Block settings. Oh, not URL. It will be button link. Yeah. 
we'll give it a class uh, get started button and then we're going to render the block settings uh, button text which is uh, we give it the default of shop that you can also just change it to whatever we got that ending div and right, so after this block we're going to end this for And four, and then these two closing divs just close the row and then the container. So let's clean it up. All right, so it's looking pretty good. We have this container which has the header. Below that, we have a row which will render each of the blocks we define. Within that, within each block, we're going to have an image. If it exists, we're going to load it. And we're going to have basically another little container that will hold all our text. One being the title, other being the subtitle, and then the, uh, the button. That looks pretty good. And our scheme is looking good. So if we, we save and go in there now, it's going to look really bad because there's no CSS. We just got a bunch of HTML. So I actually have some CSS for you. And the CSS I have for you, <clears throat> I'll uh, put a link in the description uh, and that you can just copy and paste. It'll take you to a file on my GitHub. You can just copy and paste everything in here. So let's go down, control C it, or you can just push this button right here. And close that. And you got two options. You can put in a style tag in this file, or you can create a CSS file in your assets and then link it at the top of this component. So I'll show you both ways. Right now, we're just going to create a style tag. Because honestly, sometimes when uh, when I'm in development, I'll keep all the styling within the component, and it's not until I'm done where uh, I put it all in a CSS file and, and then link it at the top. So I'm going to paste all this in. I'm just going to... Yeah, it's a comment. I'll delete that out. So we'll save. We're going to check it out. Right after that, I'll show you how to link it in, uh, in another file. It's more of a best practice keeping your file pretty clean. Because without the CSS, it's a pretty short, you know, 90 line uh, file. This makes it just uh, a bit bigger, which, you know, could be a, you know, just a bit messier. So let's save this and get back in there. Let's refresh this page. So, just going to re add it. <clears throat> Starts with those three, three tiles. And first, we'll just select an image. So, I have these three on your site. You know, you can pick. You know, it's relevant to you. So we add that in. It looks pretty good so far. We'll just throw the three images in. All right, so that's, uh, that's looking pretty good. And this, we'll just say bait. Tackle indoors. And then whatever link you want, you can link it to a product page, a collection, 
Um, I don't have any collections built out on the store besides like the snowboarding stuff. That was all the, the example data. Um, but yeah, let's change this. Rods and high quality lines. What I put in here, browse all supplies. So there you have it. We just built a custom section. It looks pretty snazzy. Uh, it looks pretty solid on mobile too. Totally dynamic. You can add links to any page, even external stuff, but uh, right now we got nothing. And yeah, all the code to this will be in my GitHub. So in the description, there will be a link to the CSS. I'll also add a link to the file. That way you can just copy and paste all the HTML and the schema uh, so you don't have to spend time rewriting everything, unless you want to practice. <clears throat> and yeah, so this is, you know, if you're new to building sections in Shopify, this is a pretty good starter one. There's a ton more we can do. You can add a lot more settings to each section that will be applied to each block, add videos, different arrangements of things, and you know, totally change the CSS if you want a grid or something. So yeah, I hope this was helpful. And yeah, if you enjoyed it, like, comment, subscribe. It really helps. Pretty new. So I um, hope this is a good tutorial. This is like my second video ever. So yeah, any likes and comments are greatly appreciated. And if you want to see anything else, I'm totally open to making videos on that. Basically, no limits. I'm uh, pretty good at Shopify and I've made apps and stuff. So if you want tutorials on that, I can. Or other types of components, profile pages, that kind of stuff. So yeah, thanks.